heated spat between lawmakers over the parole bill happened in Montgomery, and our cameras were rolling. Be courteous to him now. You're, I'm being very courteous. I've Senator. been courteous to the other side. Let's be courteous to him now. That bill passed the committee and now moves to the full Senate. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. Naja Sherman has the night off. Way 31's Brecken Terry is in Montgomery and watched all of this go down today. Brecken? <laughs> I'm here in front of the state house, and with only a few days left in this session, the parole bill will be on the Senate floor either tomorrow or Thursday. We're still waiting to get an exact date and time, but things got pretty heated today over the parole bill as it was discussed in the Senate Judiciary Committee. About five people addressed the Alabama Senate Committee saying they opposed the parole bill, which would give the governor more oversight at the board, stop early paroles, and strengthen victim notification. Lynn Head, the parole board chairperson, went to the podium to contest the bill. We've done our part to reduce recidivism. This demonstrates that we are not broken. This bill, which changes the executive director, changes the nominating committee or procedures for the board, and codifies our policy, there has been no discussion, no explanation of how any one of those three things would have changed what people are concerned about. Head noted that no one showed up to contest Jimmy Spencer's parole hearing. He's the man charged in a triple murder in Gunnersville months after his release. But the Way 31 I team revealed the victim in Spencer's parole case was never notified of the hearing. The board admitted that was a mistake. The attorney general's office was not notified about Spencer's hearing because he was mislabeled as a non-victim offender in the system. That's when things got heated between lawmakers. Representative Connie Rowe, who carried the parole bill through the House, took to the podium to answer senators' questions about the bill. Senator Vivian Figures posed a question about Spencer being mislabeled, and that's when representatives from the attorney general's office stood up and took over. And he was not listed in the property. So you category. all dropped the ball too, huh? I wouldn't say that. I, I would. Senator. You're Mr. saying Senator, that the Senator, others Senator, did. Senator, let's have, be courteous to him You're, now. I'm being very courteous, I've Senator. been courteous to the other side. Let's be courteous to him now. Why is it you always get on me when I start because questioning you, because people? Because you always get on me. No, so I'm, I'm not. Finally, Senator, let's... You know, I'll fight my fight on the floor, Senator. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Now, later during that session, Senator Vivian Figures did apologize to Representative Connie Rowe and the Attorney General's office. We should know in the next couple of hours the exact date and time on when this parole bill will move to the Senate floor. Live in Montgomery, Brecken Terry, Way 31 News.